first poem I'll read tonight is the one from the anthology. Uh, it's called uh, A Letter to 30 Goldfinches, so it's an epistolary poem. Dear garden foragers from 10 to noon, you butterbirds spread atop the crisp of seed paper spires, a literal charm. I am pleased and shyly proud to host you at this lunch the earth and I made with light. Just the old miracle, lustrous sustenance partaken by all, whether bone tree like us, carapace or spongiform. All very proper and decorous, you see, and yet when I but glimpse you sampling the fare in my pantry, that plenteous board of lemon balm bonds, onion ball puffs, anise hyssop popsicles, favored plumpest aphid haunted sunflowers, and hear your soft, sweet, feeding sea. I'm embarrassed to admit a particular fondness, a warmth I wonder if you could ever fathom, even if my words could leap into song and cross the gulf between mammalia and aves. And could I ask, is it okay to inquire, might you also love me in your fleet way? Perhaps some glancing, uninvolved ardor, like the trees for the sky, the skies for the earth, and the earth's more than cordial, almost affectionate, regard for me. And the second poem is called Bush Tit. It seized so wondrous sharp upon our eyes, we first believed it must be a wasp's nest. Some meaning cried out, but we couldn't grasp what. A long minute it was not, the next it was, like a vision, a magic portal. Was it a mossy starred sock fit for a bear? A spider silk stocking cap for a raccoon? A sack for the fox's three-legged race? No, just a home, yet perfect hanging art, identified by an avuncular security guard, gray, minuscule, even maximally puffed, hopping from foot to foot, chirping a warning, lest we tourists alert a crow's fearsome perch as we point, clamor, stumble, church to church. Thank you.